What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6 p.m. It is Sunday, and we're going to see what EA have given us today. Maybe a mini release today, maybe not. We'll see. Because the Euros have started already, I don't know if we'll get any kind of like mini release content. But let's have a look. We've got the Festival of Football Champions bonus still there, the Cup still there, the One Nation England still there. Daily play completion is still there. Pascal Gross still there. Seasonal. There is nothing new in seasonal. Milestones. <laughs> there is nothing new in milestones either. Do we have a new evolution for today? Yes, we do. Oh, wow. Elite Quartet. Witness your player ascend to new heights as they master or play style pluses for the first time. This evolution marks a milestone in their career, propelling them to the forefront of football greatness. That is all that's there, but... Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. It gives an overall plus nine, eight pace, eight shooting, eight passing, eight dribbling, nine defending, nine physical. It gives long ball pass plus, incisive pass plus, and quick step plus. It also gives Relentless, Travella, Press Proven. Wow, no skill moves or weak foot though. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. This one's 200,000 coins, guys. But what is really good about it? You can already have a play star plus on it. Oh, it gives one star weak foot as well. 200,000 coins is a lot. But there's going to be some really, really good cards in this one. Oh, that's a nice one. We'll go and have a deep look at uh, who's going to be good in that one real soon. That's an expensive one. But I feel like that's a nice one. In terms of SBCs, we have got... I'll go and Kantara. He was already there, wasn't he? You know, uh... Ah. We've got Steven Bergvine, the Netherlands versus France, and we've got Adrian Rabiot, and we have got Ivan Tony's Make Your Mark. Wow. So, Bergvine has got good pace, good shooting, good passing, especially in the right areas, good physical, 89 defensive awareness somehow. Very good dribbling. Brilliant play styles. Whip pass plus, tiki tack, a long ball and ping pass, finesse shot, flair, rapid plus, technical, traveller and power shot plus. He's four star, five star. That's a good card. That is a good card. What's he going to cost? One squad only. Just an 87 rated for him. 100% worth doing. No question about it. Adrian Rabio. Has got good pace, good shooting from range, good passing, good dribbling, great defending, great physicals. King pass plus, long ball pass plus, and anticipate plus. With power shot, aerial power header, tiki taka, jockey block, and first touch. He's also got four star, five star, and he can play left mid. These two squads, I think actually this might be like an 87 and an 88 on top. It's an 85 and an 88. And I think that's just because obviously EA expect France to win. I think both of those are very, very, very good cards because if either of them, either of them get that upgrade, they're just going to be great. We have got Ivan Tony make your mark. He has got four star skill moves, five star weak foot, high, high work rate, six foot two. Great pace, great shooting, short passing and vision are good, great dribbling and great physicals. He's got rapid plus, power shot plus and power header plus. Doesn't have aerial either. Finesse shot, ping pass, chip shot, flare, first touch, press proven, relentless, and Traveller. That is a very, very, very good card. And of course, if he uh, gets his debut, um, he'll get perfect chemistry. But four star, five star, that's a good card. And what is he going to cost? An 86 with a team of the week or a team of the season, and an 87 with a team of the week or a team of the season. That's a really, really good SBC again. In terms of upgrades today, 
we've got the 90 plus FFC or Lasso or Greats of the Game Hero Player Pick. This one's going to cost. Wow. Okay, that actually seems very, very, very reasonably priced. An 86 rated and then an 83 rated with a team of the week or a team of the season actually seems quite nice, to be fair. We're going to build this through. Um, 187 in there and I think 485 at that point. And then the Tony Kroos. That should be good for that one. Perfect. And then a team of the week or a team of the season. I really need to do some team of the week uh, SBCs. Get my account stacked up a little bit because at the moment it's just all team of the seasons. Um, now, of course, we don't actually care about overkilling some 83s. We get so many of them or even some 82s. I'll pop all of these 82s in and then I'm pretty sure, pretty sure. Once we get that team of the season in there, it should still be the three rated squad. So special. Go for team of the season. And let's put Weaver in there. There we go. That is this player pick done. Now, this is not bad. This is not bad. 90 plus. FFC or Lasso or Greats of the Game Hero. It could be bad. It could be bad. We got Rui Costa for ourselves. What else have we got? Oh, it's repeatable twice as well. Interesting. Nothing else there. Nothing in challenges. Do we have a new icon for today? No, we do not. And obviously nothing new in the exchange. Now... We've also got, of course, a whole bunch of newly upgraded cards. But first, these SBCs, Ivan Tony, Bergwijn, Rabio. Ivan Tony, Bergwijn, Rabio. So Adrian Rabio for me, guys. Either an engine, which is really good. Gets his dribbling to being cracked. Pace up there. Passing's insane. Defending's very good. Shooting's very good. Physical's ridiculous. Four-star, five-star, great play styles. Alternatively, an anchor or a shadow. An anchor keeps him mostly lengthy. Yeah, I, I really like an anchor on him. His passing's good, but he's got brilliant passing play styles anyway, so you don't really need to boost that anymore. I think that's an absolutely legit card, to be fair. I also think Bergvine is very, very good. I'm going for either a marksman on him. Great shooting, great pace, very good physicals, very good dribbling, very good passing. And again, passing play styles are legit on him. Alternatively, a maestro. Great shooting from range, great passing, great dribbling. Alternatively, you could go for an engine to max out that pace. 99 crossing, 99 vision, 99 short pass, 99 pace. Incredible dribbling. It just depends on how like, what you like, I suppose, in the game. If you're the sort of person that really likes to get that maxed out pace, I don't. That I, I play quite a heavy passing and build up game. I don't really use like balls in behind or I don't really like pace abuse uh, at all. So for me, it would probably be the maestro. But if you do like that 99 pace, the engine is very, very good for him. And then for Ivan Tony, I like Hawk. Insane physicals, insane shooting. An almost max pace, decent passing for a striker, and he's got ping pass and very good dribbling apart from dribbling. Uh, based on that, the marksman could be insane for Ivan Tony. Legit shooting, super physicals, and it gives a plus eight to dribbling, which will make him feel so good. You could give him an engine as well. Uh, it gives eight dribbling there also. Great pace, great passing. He's shooting so good. Do you know what? Engine might just be the play for him. And again, he's got four or five scoring play style pluses. Got great ball control, a passing, two in physical. I think all three SBCs today there, guys, for the players are absolutely cracked. We have also got the Evolution Elite Quartet. Evolved players. You've got McAllister95. Where does that come from? His inform. Wow. Doesn't he already have, like, mad good players, McAllister? Mad good cards. You've got Kaiseido. 
Trouble Schley, Zinchenko, Otavio, Oscar, David Alaba. Looks like it's a lot of like informs that are good for it. 86 rated, not bad though, is it? I think with this one, when it comes to it, it's going to be who do you want rather than anything else? Like, is there somebody from your club or from your nation that fits? Like, if I go and have a look at what Arsenal players fit, this is who I would look for. So I'd be like, okay, I've already got Evos on quite a lot of these. Maybe this Bukayo Saka is the one. Takes them up to a 95 rated. If I haven't already got that team of the season Saka, gives them great dribbling, good pace. Three-star, four-star sucks. The rest of the card sucks a little bit, to be fair. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this Zinchenko card, I wonder if his price point's already shot up. This Zinchenko card evolved. Great pace, great defending, great physicals, great passing, decent shooting, especially from range, great dribbling, great play styles. It's a shame this three-star, four-star, because this is a banging card. Absolutely banging card. And so, although there might end up being some, like, hyper-meta players, there might end up being some hyper-meta players, what I think this one is about is just finding who you like the most. Now, what I do want is a minimum of four play style pluses. By that filter. You don't want to... You, you, like, we're, we're at four play, play style plus territory. Ooh, some of the heroes fit. Wow. Wow. How about that for a card? A Hawk on King gives him nearly max pace, max shooting, great physicals, decent passing, great dribbling, great play styles, four star, five star. That's a really, really good option. Robbie Keane is very good. You've got Del Castillo. This is his inform, though, isn't it? He's obviously got a team of the season already, but my word. Some of these cards, guys, some of these evolutions are absolutely phenomenal. Let me know who you're going to use down below. I'm genuinely interested because I'd, unless, like, there might be some absolute flat out standout players. Bisek, I guess, is one of them because he's on the featured page there. Um, but Ronaldo must be one of them as well. Rudiger must be one of them as well. But I think that this could be one where there's just lots. And lots of great options. Doesn't look like Bissek fits in it, actually. Surely he does. No, he does not. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, does he fit in it? Yes, he does. The elite quartet Ronaldo gets five-star, five-star. See, for me, this has to be a midfielder, really, or a defender that gets it. Because you just don't want power shot. Well, power shot plus, you don't mind. But incisive pass plus, quick step and long ball pass plus, it's just great for a winger or a fullback. But... You can finally turn your 86 Ronaldo into a much better Ronaldo. I reckon Rudiger could be the play, to be fair. Maybe not. Maybe he's just not even there. Oh, there you go. Uh, Dupree on the Supreme Defender. Nope, Rudiger doesn't fit. Um, either way, guys, there's some really, really, really good options here. At Kanji, it's a shame he's had so many special cards. Ashley Cole, guys. See what I mean? For fullbacks, this is a banger. Ashley Cole on an anchor, such good pace, such good defending, such good physicals, decent dribbling and whatnot for him. Three star, three star only. But yeah, I, I, I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. What is the... Uh, now it's 200k, obviously. Max 86, pace max, max, max 89, shooting max 88, physical max 82, play styles max 7, play style plus is max 1. Tell me who you're going to do down below. This is a good one. What I was going to do, guys is look at the upgraded cards as well. But I think what we'll do instead is look at those upgraded cards later on tonight after the England ones have been upgraded as well. Um, in terms of the SBCs here, this, about 50-50 for the voting. I, I don't mind this, actually. I want to look at um, who the eligible players are. 90 plus FFC, Gol and... Right, let's, let's find them. So, overall, 90 plus. Uh, rarity, fantasy FC hero, rarity, greats, Golasso hero, and then greats of the game hero by filters. So you can get, oh wow, Cap de Villa, Di Natale, Forlan, Beasley, 
Schneider, Bialy, Cordoba, Alawaram, Berbatov, Bompastor, Lizarazu, Park, Rosicki, Collar, Ginola, Krav- oh, he was an SBC, Ramirez, McManaman, Lucio. Do you know what? This isn't actually as good as I thought it might be. It isn't as good as I thought it might be. You don't care about like so many of these players. In terms of like the expensive good options, these, well, Dudex are the season pass. Beasley's super cheap. All and Di Natale, Cap de Villa would be legit. Schneider would be legit. Everyone else is kind of like, why would you need a Cordoba? You know, Ivan Tony, a little bit downvoted. That's interesting. Rabio's a bit half and half. Bergwijn's downvoted. Wow. Isn't that bizarre, guys? And I know that happens a lot. And I swear people must think I go against the grain on purpose. I don't know why I like cards like these. I think Bergwijn is really good for an 87-rated squad. It's so easy to get an 87-rated squad these days. And if Holland get the upgrade, if they win, he's going to go to a 95 and be very good. Same as Rabiot. If France win, he's going to go to a 95 and be absolutely cracked. Ivan Tony's got the chance to be upgraded as well. And, and then this, this is the one that I, th I actually think that the, uh, the hero and icon pick is, a, is just a bit meh. As my uh, stuff's not loading. Um, yeah, in terms of price points, this one is coming in at around 85k, right? So yes, Captain Villa's a dub. Di Natale's a dub. Borland's just about a dub. It's 200k. And obviously, this is a cracking card. You know, a hawk on this card is so legit, but Marcus Beasley you don't want. He's worth less than the, uh, than the SBC. Schneider's decent, but only two Playstar Pluses. Viali's worth less. Cordoba's decent, but two Playstar Pluses. And who doesn't already have so many of these types of centre-backs? Alawaran had an SBC, but 160k for him. Berbatov's dirt cheap. Bon Pastor's got an SBC. Lizarazu's relatively cheap. Park's cheap. Rosicki, Collet, cheap. Ginla's decently priced. Arvalio was an SBC. Ramirez is reasonably priced, but only two playstyle pluses. McManamum's dirt cheap. Lucio's decently priced, but also only two playstyle pluses. There's just... There's only probably about five or six players that are worth it out of this. So I don't know if that's actually going to be that good. Uh, what I do know, though, guys, is that that is going to be the end for today. Uh, it's still just 1-0 to, uh, to Denmark against Slovenia. We've got the England game tonight. After the England game and after the uh, upgrades come from all of today's games, we'll go and I'll do another video going through all of the upgraded cards because there was about 10 cards last night that got upgraded. There'll be a whole bunch more today, potentially even that brand new Ivan Tony. Um, but that is going to be the end of the video for today guys let me know who you put in that evolution i think is a good one thank you as always for watching and i will see you next time peace